Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be going over how to cut out your pattern pieces. So you're gonna need your pattern and also you're going to use some scissors and I like to use my paper scissors and not my fabric scissors. Inside the envelope, you're going to have your tissue paper and this is what the pattern pieces are printed on. And you should also have some directions. So we're actually going to look at the directions first because this is going to tell us the pattern pieces that we need to cut out. On page one of the direction, you're going to see a diagram that looks like this. So this is showing you all the different shapes of the pattern pieces that are located on your tissue paper and each pattern is designated with a number. So if we look at the list below it, you can see what it's actually for. Number one is the bodice front. So this piece with the number is the bodice front. Now in this particular envelope, there's only one view or one type of coat. This is for a coat. And from this list, it's all for the coat. So I'm gonna to need to cut out every single one of these pieces. So that means a total of 12 pieces. If you happen to be doing a pattern that has more than one view in the envelope, such as this one, it has view A and view B, then you need to make sure that you're only cutting out the pattern pieces for your view. And you can tell because when you look at the list and the name, there should be a letter behind it. If there is no letter, that means it would be for both views. So if there was no A here and just said front view, that means piece number one would be for A and B. But in this particular case, it is for A. So if I was doing this view here, I would just put a check mark next to each one that has the letter A just so I can keep track of which one I need to cut out. So all of these, now this one here, you'll see it says view A and B. Here's view B, so I don't need to put a check mark next to these. So it would be one through seven that I would need to cut out if I was doing this one. Once you know what pattern pieces you need to cut out, you can then unfold your tissue paper so we can look at all the different pattern pieces. And if you're worried it's too wrinkly, you can always press it with your iron. Just make sure you have it on a low heat setting because we definitely don't want to singe our paper and make sure it's a dry iron so you don't get any water on it. And we're going to take a look at this first pattern piece just as an example. And again, you can see the brand right here. Also underneath it usually you can see the pattern number. So this is handy in case your pattern pieces get separated from your envelope. You can look at the pattern piece and it'll tell you which pattern it's for and then you can put it back in the right envelope. Underneath it, if there are different views inside the envelope, it should again list the view that it's for. In this case, it's for view A and it'll have the number. And again, this number corresponds to the list and to the diagram that we were just looking at. So everything stays consistent and it tells you what it is, it's the front. And then once you know, yes, I need to cut this out because I'm doing view A and I need pattern piece one, then we can start cutting it out. And this is where my paper scissors are gonna come in handy. I don't use my fabric scissors because once you start cutting out paper with them, they tend to dull the blades. So let's go ahead and get started. So you need to know what size you're going to do. And in this case, just for an example, I'm gonna do a size medium. So you can see here, there is a series of lines and you'll have this, the sizes listed out. So I need to find the medium and then I'm gonna do the line that's right above that one. So I'm just gonna follow it along and sometimes you'll see the size and then it'll have an arrow and the arrow is pointing to the line that you need to cut out. So it just makes it a little bit easier if they can't exactly fit everything in the information that they wanna do. On this side, where it's just a single solid line, means it's for all sizes. Now, if you're cutting out more than one size or you don't want to actually cut your pattern piece but you wanna save it, you can use a tracing wheel and pattern paper to make a copy of the pattern piece. That way you kind of save this one if you tend to use it a lot or if you wanna do more than one size. So if you're interested in that, I definitely recommend checking out our tutorial on using the tracing wheel. We can show you how to do that. So I'm just coming in with my scissors and I'm cutting right along the medium line. Now you can either cut directly on the line 
or you can cut right outside the line, which is what I like to do. I like to make sure that I can still see the line, but some people, they just like to cut directly on the line. Whatever way works best for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this whole thing out. Now you'll notice over here, you'll see this little diamond shape. Sometimes it's a half diamond, so it might just be a, just the triangle. These are called notches. And these are especially important in sewing. So we wanna make sure that we have some sort of indication that there's a notch there because notches are meant to help us put our pieces together. So it's kind of like putting a puzzle together when you're sewing and we'll match up this notch with a notch on another piece. So that's why they're there. So what I'm gonna do when I get to it, instead of just cutting straight across, I'm gonna cut outside, it's a little awkward for me, and then come back. So basically I'm just following along that same shape. And some people, they like to just cut inward. If you do that, just make sure that you don't cut too far that you're cutting outside your seam allowance area, because the seam allowance is built into these pattern pieces. So in this particular case, it's a quarter inch. So if I cut inward, I don't want to exceed more than a quarter of an inch, which is why I like to just do outward. Then I don't even have to worry about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all the way around my pattern piece. When cutting out your pattern pieces, sometimes you'll notice the lines will crisscross each other. So if you have a problem following your line before you cut it out, a good tip to use is a highlighter and actually highlighting the line that you need to cut out so there's no confusion when you're actually doing it. If, for example, I'm doing size six, I can just use my highlighter, highlight right along that line, and you'll see right here it crosses, so then I gotta find that line again, and it's actually this top line because the dashes are smaller for the size six. And then I can just go ahead and use my highlighter to mark that line. So again, when I'm cutting it out, there'll be no confusion. Here's another example of a pattern, and this is the one that's from my coat. And in this one, it has the same information as the one we were looking at with Quick Sew, except it's just laid out a little bit different. You have the brand, the pattern number, the pattern piece number right here, and then what it is. And you can see this one just has a single line around the whole thing, which means it's for all sizes. And if you were unsure, you just have to look down here and it lists all the sizes that are in this envelope. So everybody would cut this out. Every once in a while, you'll see a pattern piece where they'll just list one size. So if this was for the pocket and it just says size 10 and you need to cut out a size 12, you would have to look over the rest of the tissue paper to find the same exact piece that lists size 12. But I'd go ahead, cut this out just as I did in the last one and you can see, here's what I'm talking about. So this is another single notch. So it's not shaped like a diamond, but it's just a triangle on the side and we have another one over here. This pattern piece that's right next to it, so this is a double notch. So usually I can, you can do the same sort of thing where you're just cutting outward on each one of these in order to indicate there's a double notch there. Or I just do a great big one and then I flatten the top. And for me, that's just something that I can look at and readily understand that that's a double notch. These little dots right here, you can just ignore. You just wanna make sure, again, that you're cutting out the right size you can see a series of lines here. And they just do different dash lengths in order to indicate the correct size. You can see the sizes are listed here. With this particular pattern, Butterick, they actually do number sizes, not like Quick Sew. So if I was doing 10, I'd follow the arrow up and then I would make sure I cut on this line. Sometimes you'll find that one single pattern piece actually plays a role in multiple views. So if we take the example I'm showing here, which is for a shirt, pattern piece number seven is for views A and B, but the difference is view A is for a short sleeve and view B is for the long sleeve. They're using the same pattern piece, but you'll see a line that goes right down the middle. So you would cut on this line in order to get the short sleeve or cut on this bottom line to get the long sleeve. Here's that same sleeve pattern that we were just talking about, and you're only looking at a small portion of it because I wanna show you that this line right here 
right above it, it says cut here for A. So they're showing you right on the pattern piece where you need to cut out if you wanted to do the short sleeve. So if, for example, I was doing size 34, I would cut along the size 34 line, and then once I get to the cut here line, I'm just gonna pivot and cut along this line. If you wanna, at some point, make it a long sleeve, just save the lower portion and you can always tape it back together again. So if I was gonna do the long sleeve to begin with, then instead of pivoting here, I'm just gonna continue straight down. We'll just move this up. And I just wanna stop right here. This line right here says lengthen or shorten here. You sometimes get this on pattern pieces and it's for alteration. So this is not a cut line unless you're considering altering the sleeve and making it longer. But let's just continue down. And here we get to the bottom of the long sleeve here. So then I would just continue cutting along this line. You don't have to cut out on the pleat line. This is actually a, a marker that we would have to mark on our fabric. And don't forget to cut your notch. But after you finish cutting out all your pattern pieces, then you can move on to the fabric layout. So definitely check out our video on that as well. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 150 sewing video tutorials. New tutorials are released regularly, so make sure to subscribe to be notified of the next release. Thanks for watching.